Today on The Hobby Grotto, I wanna share with you five tips I've learned over the years to help speed up your painting and unlock that easy mode. I wanna start with limited color palettes. Minimizing the number of colors you use on a model helps streamline the painting process and means you don't have to make as many decisions while you're actually doing the painting. In the case of these undead, the secondary colors are kept minimal and similar, while one single bright feature color is chosen to make them pop from a distance. Not only does using less colors save you time, but it also creates bold looking miniatures that stand out on the tabletop because they aren't as complicated when viewed from a distance. Lots of different colors and details can look cool when a mini is viewed close up, but sometimes that stuff can look complicated and messy when viewed from a few feet away on the table. Limited color palettes can save you time when painting squads and armies, while also keeping everything looking unified and cohesive on the table. Many miniatures feature a predominant color, and you can save time by starting the mini with this color already in place, which is particularly useful for paints like metallics, which work well with an overbrush or a dry brush. Use this or overbrushing, and then come back and repaint the other details. Any kind of dry brush is going to make the details more visible too, like a zenithal prime, which again is going to be very useful for working out what needs to be painted, and again, saving time. You don't necessarily need this for minis with a predominant color either. You can use a, an all over dry brush with a color that's going to be a good base for many other colors, while also being something that can fill in a lot of details and save you time. Dark browns like Rhinox Hide are particularly good for this, and an all over dry brush on models like this is going to save a lot of time and provide a good base for a bunch of other colors, while also getting all the boots, straps, and non-focal point details done so we don't have to worry about them later. Never underestimate a full color overbrush on a mini to save time when painting a bunch of them. How many of you out there get annoyed by painting eyes? Well, you can just use helmeted heads or, or not paint the eyes, which is completely fine, but the best way to save time and still get a good result is to paint the eyes before the face. Whether that's before you put any of the skin down at all or before you put the highlights on, both these methods will enable you to adjust the eyes as much as you want without messing up the rest of the face and wasting huge amounts of time fixing those tiny important highlights. I talk about it more here. Speaking of highlights, this may be contentious, but stop highlighting the whole model. Highlight the parts you can see and focus on the focal points, not the straps and boots. Highlighting minis is a huge potential time sink and it can 100% be a rabbit hole you fall down, but a few strategically placed highlights can look just as good, especially if there is a bunch of minis on the table. This is doubly important if you are doing, uh, you know, time consuming heavy metal style edge highlights. You can skip some areas, trust me. Choose your highlights based on the end goal for the model. If something is for gaming and not for display, you can uh, go a lot easier with that stuff. Bold contrasting colors stand out a lot more on the table than fine highlights. Washes are one of the fastest ways to save time on a mini while also getting a great result. And if you use the same wash over the entire model, you can paint the whole thing in one go and save even more time. It's an incredibly easy thing to do and you can use a big brush to get things moving even faster. Black and brown wash are the perfect colors for this as they're both neutral enough tones to work with pretty much any color they encounter. I'm also very fond of using the same consistent wash over a model because I think it adds a tone to all the colors which brings everything into the same universe. But the most important thing when using one single wash is that it's incredibly fast and looks good for very minimal effort. So there you have it, five ways to speed up your painting and make the whole process even easier for yourself. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The Hobby Grotto.